Look at that, my friends, shining bright. This is what I thought it would be. We're gonna take out this silver Washington and have a close look. Oh, look at how nice, huh? Oh, man, yeah. And look what's sticking here, my friends. Goldie. I see something goldie. I'm gonna take her out. Uh, it's a pendant. Uh, we flip her over. And it's definitely a religious medallion. There it is, my friends, as best I can do right now. Pretty worn. Last year issue, 1916. Bob a dime. Johnny here for Guess It Was Fate Metal Detecting. And in the words of Robert Redford in that must-see movie, Jeremiah Johnson, well, hell, don't run off. It's me. That's right, Johnny's all cleaned up. He wants to look better than Keith K. I think I do anyway. <laughs> well, I moved to another park and I got some interesting find. I don't know what it is. I'll take my best shot. Dug this hole here, and here it is on top of the plug. Uh, I don't know what it is. Is it a piece of an old gun part? Look at that hole right there. Very interesting. I like it. Not sure what it is. If anybody does, please say it in the comments. Thank you. Well, I came back to the park where I found the Mercury Dime. And uh, they cut the grass. And so I come on over here, give it another shot. And I dug a deep hole. And this was thumping down there, my friends. Look at that. It looks big. I'm due for another quarter. Shall we pull it out? Oh, yes. Look at that, my friends, shining bright. This is what I thought it would be. We're going to take out this silver Washington and have a close look. Oh, look at how nice, huh? Oh, man, yeah. All righty. No salt water here, like I say. And it looks to be a 1954. Johnny was just one year old. And let's give her a flip. Well, I don't see a mint mark. Oh, yes, I think there is. We're going to put her on the dirt and uh, take a closer look-see. Oh, my, ain't that pretty. It's a Sacramento mint. A nice S right above the R there. Let's give her another flip and look at the other side again, huh? Oh, don't Georgie look so beautiful. How sweet it is. 1954. And this makes silver number 52 for Johnny. Oh man, he is elated, Yahoo, baby. I am back to the happy hunting ground and I'm using the AT Pro today because I'm looking for relics, silver, what have you. But I like this machine too. All right, let's take a look at my first find. It is May the 15th. Yep, got the AT Pro out today with the stock coil, 11 by 8. And I dug that plug. There's the pro pointer, so it's about 7 inches down. And I threw some dirt up on the cloth here. And I brushed this off. And take a look at this, my friend. What do we have here? 
Is this a homemade cufflink or button? Looks like two eye, nose, and on the back we have the area where it could have been a cufflink or a flattened shank there. <laughs> that is pretty darn interesting, I'm telling you. I never seen nothing like that. But I love these relics, my friends. Yes, sir. Alrighty, on to the next one. And today is May the 17th, and I'm back at that park 20 miles away from home. And I got a surface find here. Where do you see this one? All right, you find trash everywhere, my friends. There's the trash, there's the basketball court, and there's the can. Unforgivable in my book. Bottle caps everywhere. All right, so maybe the person who did this, well, here's a ring right here. I thought it was just gonna be a washer because the top was in the ground and I turned it over. We got a stainless steel ring here because nothing was coming up practically on the CTX. <laughs> but it's a beauty. It's a man's stainless steel ring. Much too small for me. But uh, happy to get it. Alrighty. On to the next find. Uh, Johnny back with his next good find. Yes siree, after the rain, it might be a jewelry day, who knows? But I was coming over here, I was getting a 1240, about seven inches down. I turned over the plug and it was staring at me shiny, but it's not silvery shiny. Ho oh, ho, let's take a look, see. Well, there's the court where I found the stainless steel ring. I moved over here. And I was told you I found that 1240 about seven inches down. Dug that plug. And look what's sticking here, my friends. Goldy. I see something goldy. I'm going to take her out. Uh, it's a pendant. Uh, we flip her over. And it's definitely a religious medallion. I'm gonna give it a little light cleaning and I'll get back with you. Holy cow! I don't think this is plated, but you never know, it could be. Hold on for closer inspection. Well, this is pretty awesome, but I'm afraid it's gold plated because I can see some of the uh, gold gilt coming off on the sides there. But it is pretty awesome historical thing. I'm not sure if this is the presentation of Jesus to be baptized or what, but um, it is pretty awesome. I'm on the reverse. It says Germany. But I'll tell you, I love these religious medallions, my friends. Yes, sir, that's a great find, plated or not. All right, let's take a look at that other side again. Uh, yes, sir, gotta love these religious medallions. All righty. On to the next one. And Johnny's moved on to a new park. And I just got a 1244 about five inches down. It's either a barber or a seated, my friends. We're gonna take a look see now. <laughs> You're already. Well, I'm hunting a different park, like I say. And here's some of this area here. It's a pretty old big park. And it's a little northwest of where I was hunting before. Getting that 1244 about four or five inches down. I'm starting to dig almost anything in, around here because this is pretty old. And I dug that hole. And I scooped away some dirt from the top. And there it is, my friends. You can see one dime. We're going to take her out and have a closer look. See right now. Always come out that way, don't they, my friends? It looks to be a barber. Pretty worn for here. No salt water. But uh, we'll give her another cleaning with some water that I have and get a better date for you. Alrighty. 
Mix 53 for Johnny. <laughs> yes, sir. There it is, my friends, as best I can do right now. Pretty worn. Last year issue, 1916. Bob a dime. And we'll give her a flip to see if there's any mint mark on the back. Nope. Just a Philadelphia, but happy to have number 53 for me for 2016. Yes, sir. Onward and upward, my friends. Yes, I rarely put it in the relic mode, but I am in this pretty big field here. And there's a river back there. And I'm glad I did because I dug a hole. I was getting like a 1236 to 1240 six to seven inches down and I put it on my brush for better contrast because this soil is a little red here but this is a pretty awesome find I believe looks like some kind of a suspender clip or a tiny little buckle it's pretty fragile so I would say it's some kind of a suspender thing back in the day that is pretty awesome my friends Yahoo! Happy to get this this relic. All right, on to the next find. Trash. Yes, sir. Johnny gets it, but often does not film it because I like to just concentrate on the good finds. But here's the trash, and you know, if you watch some of my videos, you know what I think about this. I'm as bad as hell, and I'm not gonna take this anymore. Well, Johnny forgot his watch today, but I think he got here at 1.30. And speaking about time, here's the world's biggest sundial I have ever seen. And I'm just about ready to leave this park. Can you tell? Time? Ha <laughs> ha! If you said 10.04, you are right. All right. Happy hunting, my friends. God bless.